Before we begin, please take note of the following. Good day everyone, so this is Honkai Star Rail, a game that I am playing in a very casual way and in my own way as you can see, because that's ultimately what's going to give me a lot of enjoyment. So why did I start playing Honkai Star Rail? Well, pretty simple. This is the true end game for Genshin Impact. Once you're done and bored with Genshin, you hop on over to Star Rail. No, seriously, I mean, there's just nothing to do. So let's talk about Honkai Star Rail. So first of all, as a new player, this is my impression. As you can see, this is the one thing that I wish there was more of in the game, and that is the things that you can do with your characters. I can run around, I can dash, I can use techniques, and some of these techniques are pretty, pretty cool. They give you all sorts of combat abilities and advantages. Um, others are just like quite the spectacle to see, but ultimately, it's just basically you with the characters and not really having had much to do so I really wish there was something like jumping or just a bit more flexibility but in any case since this is all about looking at the characters I definitely think that one of the immediate things that you get in Honkai Star Rail is the ability to take more pictures and do not discount it being able to take pictures is something I do a lot in Genshin and here in Honkai Star Rail I've got more ways of expressing that I've got my idle animations that I can play I don't need to wait for them or to like choose it randomly so from that perspective a couple of quick easy quality of life upgrades that's just available in Honkai Star Rail. I certainly really, really love it. I really love the camera. I love the other things you can do, like editing it, um, adding some, some of your own filters afterwards. It's really, really good. And even things like being able to turn off the screen, hide your personal information. All of these things are really, really good. You can see I've got my own version of hiding the UI, so that's why it's funny like that. But yeah, this is so cool for me. I really enjoy it. So the other thing that I want to talk about Tonkai Star Rail is the settings. Basically, we've got a higher render quality in Genshin. You can go up to, I think, 1.5. Here you can really scale it up and you can see the detail on the models very, very well. I think that's a massive improvement over anything that Genshin has. But the one fundamental problem and i'll show this in the big city as well that you get in honkai star rail that you also get in genshin is that when new areas load and unload you do have a bit of like stuttering it's just like a little flick just a tick and then it like goes away so it's a shame that the devs haven't really fundamentally fixed that but i mean hopefully in future they'll be able to do it speaking of fixes the commission system is super easy it is super fast you've got multiple ways of doing things and you don't need to go back to Catherine uh, some of the other things that's included here is the ability for you to fast travel to do your like relics to do all of these things I don't need to go and find special gear and stuff on a map it's all here in one screen I can click on something and I can instantly teleport I don't need to worry about wasting like my reserve or resin like energy because well as you can see here I've got the full bank and if I want Want to redeem it i just click here i use my reserve trailblaze power and it's just so easy we've seen this in honka impact the third so it's not that revolutionary but honestly being able to store up things without having to hunt for crystal flies and all this nonsense in genshin it's just such a breath of fresh air here in honkai star rail and you can see here when it comes to getting your materials whether it's to have like talent level up materials or like books or relics it's all integrated into one system you can do multiple runs and that is just what's from a quality of life perspective amazing to me i wish genshin did something similar in that regard regardless let's talk a bit about then the big thing in honkai star rail and that is the combat so as you can see animations are pretty slow and now of course this is the big thing you can speed it up and you get twice the animation certainly after you've seen your favorite character you, you really want to speed it up so it's awesome that they've added this in here by the way i'll show you kafka and the skin and just a bit of like in just a moment like with her alt and slow-mo it's definitely worthwhile but i like the fact that you can toggle it and i like the fact that you've got an auto battler as well so when it comes to farming 
I can literally go up, put the chicken in the oven, I do a bit of vacuuming in my room and all the while whilst having a bit of entertainment play out in the background. I think just the ability for you to quickly look at something else on your phone, respond to someone in Discord, um, do your dailies in Honka Impact the third whilst this is playing out. I think the addition of that auto battler is so, it is just so amazing i like the fact that it can do it by itself i think if genshin impact would implement this it would be something like if you've cleared a domain like let's say 15 or 20 times you just auto clear it the next time and you just get the rewards i would love something equivalent in that regard because obviously you can't auto it in genshin but for a turn-based game this is pretty good and i also like the fact that as you can see here in the background i can pause at any stage i can look at the enemies i can look at any buffs debuffs that they have on them so it's not like in Genshin where a lot of the detail is hidden for you and from you in combat you don't know when your VV buff expires or um, what the enemy's aura is like when you do Nilo Bloom explosions none of that you can look at your characters you can look at their kit instantly wherever you are you can see what the combat situation is like and then you can plan around it so you might want to do things manually or you can do them like on auto all right, here's the big little moment. Here is Kafka in this amazing succubus outfit in slow-mo. So here is a little bit of a slow motion look at it. It is so good. Apologies for the little silver wolf in the background there. Uh, she's just there to make sure that you guys don't see my UID for obvious reasons, as you can tell by now. In any case, so let's just move on with this review. Yeah, I can refarm things again. It's the quality of life. There's so many small things that once you're used to it, you really <laughs> want it in Genshin. The fact that I can see, for instance, very, very quickly, I can fast travel to worlds. I can see at any point in time uh, in the universe, like how many treasure maps um, or treasure chests I haven't picked up. You can see there's a big nine out of 10 or being able to teleport to the nearest waypoint when I get to a target. All of these things really make a difference. It's, it's the small things that just come together to give you an awesome experience and it m and it must come together because if you strip away all the glitz and the glamour in this game what you're really stuck with is a turn-based game with very limited things that you can do with the core product and that's the character so outside of combat everything needs to be slick otherwise the experience can get dull very quickly and i must say when it comes to things like the background music the dialogue the engagement with the npcs the different little missions and puzzles that you have all of these things feel well thought out nothing felt too long nothing felt like it dragged out pointlessly it felt like it respected your time and everything just is slick in, in terms of like navigating getting to different places if, if these things weren't as polished as it was then Honkai Star Rail could easily have been a mediocre gacha game it, it's almost like this binary of you're either going to be a great turn-based game or you're going to be very mediocre there is no in between and I think they really nailed the great part so with that I can honestly give the team and everyone that developed it like lots of lots of kudos and I also think that they learned quite a lot from Genshin it's quite obvious that some of the annoying things in Genshin are, is just not there anymore. In any case, so to get back to one of the problems that I have with the game, you can see here is the big open world and air quotes. So it's a much larger area, but you'll notice the little occasional odd like frame stutters. So as you can see in the background, there's like flowers and NPCs and things loading in. And if I just back off and go back in, you'll notice there's a little stutter right there, stutter, and then things load in the background. So this is typical of Genshin Impact, Honkai Impact the third. This is not a uh, Honkai Star Rail exclusive issue, but it is there, and I can promise you it's not frames that are dropping. It's not my GPU. It's not my CPU. I've got the fastest SSD um, that's like currently in the market. It really is just a game that needs that bit of optimization. So if there's one thing that I will complain about is that the bigger areas like this open world as if it, they just need that little bit of like performance tuning but the like narrower areas and alleys and so on on like smaller map sizes are well optimized you can definitely see those definitely play a lot smooth a lot more smoothly than the bigger areas regardless i quickly want to talk about dr ratio as the combat plays out here in the background so a lot of people have compared dr ratio to aloy and it's obvious to me 
Doctor ratio is like really amazing. I think the thing that people don't understand is that by giving players a free strong character means that you're more likely to stick around in the early game and this means that if you then stick around the odds are higher that you eventually go into the shop that you're going to spend and once you spend and Honkai Star Rail becomes a habit well that is when the company starts winning. In fact, I don't even really foresee them losing any sales on Dr. Ratio. In fact, a lot of goodwill, a lot of like community appreciation is being given. And I think because he is so well tuned and I, look, I'm having quite a lot of fun with the character, but because he is so well tuned, it's the, it's one of those things that makes you or like entices you to keep playing the game. So for instance, I lost my first 50-50 to Clara. And I don't want the character, I wanted Kafka. And I lost it like at like 75 pity, which is really bad to me. And I even lost like the light cone 7525. So what hope do I really have to keep on like playing this game? If I obviously I don't mind spending because like I just want to play with my favorite characters, but anyone else in my shoes might really feel like hard done. And if they didn't have someone like a Dr. Ratio that can help carry that early game, then it's very easy to see people just like quitting this because of the silly gacha mechanics. And that's the thing that I want to like almost like sort of start closing with. I just wish Honkai Star would change the gacha mechanics, give a slightly higher base rate, would stop this 50 50 nonsense. Unfortunately, these bad practices really gatekeep a lot of players and I appreciate them doing things like giving you free characters to help overcome it, but I still feel that it's not entirely enough. I would still like them to be a bit more innovative and then just take this game to the next level by showing us that there's a different way in which you can monetize the game. And I think obviously something like skins would be a much better better way of doing it grinding it for the end game and so on but that's just my opinion all right guys that is it for this video hopefully you've enjoyed it you've enjoyed the background footage here let me know what you think down below but just remember that given the quality that we have in honkai star rail you have a right to complain about genshin thank you